Hey guys, it's Sandy. So you want to eat healthier, but you're not really sure how to go about it. Well, why don't you think about taking this approach? So this is a different approach to meal prep. This is prepping ingredients to make meals all through the week. It's an easy way to get different meals on the table, whether it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, listen, it is a super busy time of the year. We're going into fall. School's already starting. Colleges are starting back. It's just a busy time for a lot of people. Maybe you're not in that stage of life, but you do want to get back onto eating healthy. It's been a great summer. It's been a lot of fun. We eat a lot of stuff that we don't usually do. It's a good time of year to actually do this because it just puts you back onto a schedule again. It helps you eat healthier again. And this is super simple. I think you're really going to like this concept to a way to go about meal prepping by just prepping ingredients. So I'm going to go through our fruits and vegetables, our proteins, because we need plenty of proteins, what you're going to have in the fridge for that, and then some good healthy carbs also. You're going to hit all the nutrition that you need, and you're going to love it because it's going to be simple and it's going to taste good. Okay, let's get started. I've got the vegetables, a washing, soaking, and a baking soda and water just to get the pesticides off, anything yucky off. Just soak them for a few minutes. And then over here in the Instant Pot, I'm going to put potatoes. Now I know that potatoes scare a lot of people and they think, oh, we don't want those carbs, but potatoes are good for us. They have a lot of good vitamins in them. And we're going to make these and put them in the refrigerator and they actually become resistant starch whenever you do that. Resistant starch is a good prebiotic for your gut, but also whenever it is in the ref uh, refrigerator or freezer, and it becomes resistant starch, it does not spike your blood sugar whenever you eat it. Okay, so now I'm gonna start cutting up all the vegetables that I took out of that baking soda bath that I had given them. Um, I am gonna link in the description a video I did on baking soda, how to wash your vegetables. It's one of the best things you can use to get pesticides off of your vegetables and fruit. Now I just cut these into strips so I can have celery sticks and carrot sticks. I do put some paper towels right in the bottom of the containers, those glass containers. And that way it just soaks up some of the moisture from throughout the week that, you know, vegetables will give off. Does it have some of the nutrients come out of vegetables from cutting them all up at once? Maybe, but still, this is the way that we're gonna eat them. I don't have to take them out and clean them and cut them up every single time. So this is so much more efficient by just doing it all at once, getting all the radishes. We love radishes. Now you can use these um, vegetables as far as just dipping them into hummus or some ranch dip or the celery into peanut butter. I do keep my trash can right beside of me just so I can throw away the scraps easily. You can also use these vegetables throughout the week. You could put them on top of salads. You can um, cut them up and put them into like an omelet, some of the different vegetables. You can roast these vegetables. Roasted vegetables are delicious. This makes it super simple because everything is already cleaned and ready. You could cut these up and put them in vegetable soup. Um, there's just a multitude of ways that you can use this. If you're making a beef roast stew, you could use the celery and the carrots. You know, you can just cut that up in there. Such a great way to use vegetables. And by keeping them or already cleaning them and cutting them up, you're going to eat them this way because you're going to keep seeing them in the refrigerator. If you had to get them out every time and clean them, you wouldn't do it. So now that quickly, look at that. They're beautiful. Um, I'm going to put the lids on, put it in the refrigerator, and all week long, we're going to use these vegetables in different ways. For the cauliflower, I rinsed it really good in the water with the baking soda. And for cauliflower, I don't like to put it in the refrigerator wet at all. So I put it in the salad spinner just to spin off the extra water so that it stays really crispy in the refrigerator after being washed. For fruit this week, I bought red grapes. I'm going to stick them in here to clean. And I bought blueberries. Blueberries, though, and strawberries do not do good if you wash them, pre-wash them. So I won't wash them until we eat them, and I'll just wash them what I need at a time. But first, I'm going to clean the grapes. 
Again, I'm using my salad spinner. It's going to fill it up. I did a video on how to pick grapes and make sure that you pick ones with green stalks, mean that they're good, ripe grapes. So always look for that. If they're looking brown or um, dried up, do not buy those kind of grapes. They'll be really yucky grapes and they won't last long. So let me wash these really good and then spin off all of the dirty water. Now, if they're a good ripeness, they should just pop off the vine very easily. And then I just take those grapes and just spin off the water. Then just take a bowl, put a paper towel in the bottom and put your grapes in. Now I find whenever I just leave them in an open container in the refrigerator, we're way more apt to just grab them. So this is the way that I do it. I don't even put a lid on it. That way when they're in the fridge, you can grab a whole handful, take them to work, take them to um, for a lunch or grab some for breakfast to put onto the plate. But and also while you're standing there, just trying to figure out what you want to eat out of the refrigerator. If it's right in eyesight, you just grab them out and are popping in your mouth while you're looking in the fridge. The potatoes are finished, so I'm just going to take them out of here and put them in a bowl to completely cool down before I put them in the refrigerator. Okay, now I took eggs and put them into the Instant Pot. I'm just using the same water that was in there with the um, potatoes. It won't hurt it a bit. The uh, eggs have a shell, so it won't change the flavor at all, um, the, the taste of it at all. And I like to use the pasture-raised eggs. I get these at Sam's Club. But definitely they have a beautiful kind of orange yolk. And that's what I'm looking for. Not that yellow yolk of the white eggs. You can do this on the stovetop or instant pot. I like the 3-3-3 method, which is three minutes cooking, three minutes of the pressure release, and then three minutes in an ice cold bath. Okay, so we're getting the food stacked up really quickly and easily here. Some other proteins you can have in your refrigerator that are good sources, great sources of protein. Easy is uh, Greek yogurt. I prefer plain Greek yogurt and putting the honey on it myself for the sweetener rather than all of the sugar that um, whenever you buy vanilla, they put a ton of sugar in it. Cottage cheese, it's a great source of protein. Um, you can have it with your vegetables, you can have it with fruit. In your pantry, it's always nice to have peanut butter, and almond butter, those are easy ways to grab some celery and eat, you know, something delicious and quick and give you a feeling, a filling kind of um, snack or lunch. And then canned uh, fish is a great idea to have in your pantry also because it's a really quick source of protein. So you can open these up and make a salmon salad or a tuna salad by cutting these vegetables up. And you can cut up all these vegetables in there um, and then put it into your salmon or your tuna. Another great thing you could do is ground some um, brown, some ground beef. This is simple. I would brown two um, pounds at a time at least, put it in the refrigerator during the week. You can pull it out. You can have it with taco or make it into tacos or spaghetti. Um, I made this this week because we have an abundance still of zucchini and tomatoes and onions in our garden. This is super easy. And now we'll eat on this for a little bit. We had this for dinner. Um, it's just browned ground beef along with some cut up sauteed zucchini, tomatoes, onions, a lot of different seasonings like some Italian seasoning and garlic powders and onion powders. And um, then I topped it all with some sharp cheddar cheese. So you could do something like that. You could make a, it's called a stuffed pepper skillet. So it's stuffed peppers, but you do it in the skillet instead. So ground beef can be used in a lot of ways if you just go ahead and get it all ground up and browned up and put it in your refrigerator, a great source of protein. You know, you can roast any of these vegetables. What you could do with your potatoes, I told you um, what you could do with those. So you could make them into, obviously, just a baked potato if you wanted to eat it that way. Um, you could also cut these up. They're already cooked. So you could cut them up and you could fry them and make fried potatoes quickly because they're not going to take long to fry. You could cut them up, put olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder on them, and you could put them in the oven and roast them. They're already cooked. They're not going to take long at all, but it's just going to kind of crisp them up a little bit and give them a little more flavor by putting them in the oven and roasting them. You could take your potatoes and make potato soup. If I have the cauliflower all 
cleaned and cut up, but if this was broccoli instead one week, I could take it and make it into broccoli and cheese soup, you know, along with roasting it or just eating it with dip or with hummus. I just stop real quick and get my eggs out and get them peeled. So now I've got my eggs. I can make this into egg salad. I can cut up the eggs and put them on a piece of toast with some olive oil, everything bagel seasoning. That's a quick and easy breakfast or a quick and easy lunch idea. You can cut up the eggs and put it onto a green salad. I love egg salad. I love to put egg salad on a piece of toasted bread. So that's something super easy. You can just grab it and eat a boiled egg because it's a great source of protein and it just will fill you up quickly and easily whenever you don't have much time. So you have a beautiful abundance of food here that came together really quickly. It's not meals, like meal prepping as far as meals. It's ingredients that you can use four different meals. And that makes it super simple because you can use it in so many different ways. Take the time. It doesn't take that long just to cut everything, wash everything up, cut it, cook the potatoes, cook the eggs, you know, know what you're going to do as far as some meat and protein ideas. And you will have your week so much more simplified. Everybody, or at least me, I like to get back onto a schedule. Summer is wonderful and so much fun, but I need that schedule again so I can get back on track of eating good food and feeling even better. So I hope this is helpful to you. I hope it helps with your busy weeks that are coming up if you have school age kids or college kids. And for everybody else that's just trying to eat healthier, try this. It works. It's, it's a very simple system. Okay, you guys, that's all I have for now. Until next time, I'm out.